In this video, I'll show you how to create a subdomain and install WordPress on it. Hi and welcome to this channel. If this is your first time, you are welcome. After watching this video, please don't forget to check other videos on the channel. All right. This channel is about how to make money online, affiliate marketing and web design. So why subdomain? If you have a brand and you want to protect that brand. So let's say your domain name. Okay. You don't want to leave it because uh, it's an established brand so you want extensions through that okay the second thing is if you're on budget and you don't want to spend too much money buying other domains all right but the con in this is that if for any reason you let go of your original domain that subdomain is no longer active so you have to take note okay let's get into it okay so on your dashboard click on domains all right so locate the domain that you want to use so i'll click on manage then i'll click sub domains so you have to locate the domain that you want to use so in my case i'll click it and i'll choose that domain blogstorm then give it a name so it's gonna be product dot blogstorm.com don't do anything here just click create all right so now your subdomain has been created product dot blogstorm.com so now we have to install WordPress on this subdomain. So to do that, click on my site, click on create site, site name and site tagline. I'll go next. All right. So now you have to choose the domain. All right. Which of these do you want to use? Well, I don't want to use any of them here yet. Later on, we'll install WP forms when we begin to install plugin. But for now, I'm going to just take them off. All right we can install it later then we click next so hold on while we set up your site wordpress installed successfully please remember your login details let's log in to wordpress loading wordpress all right okay so now we are in and the first thing we need to do all right so what we have to do next is to change the password all right to hover to users then you click on your profile all right so then we come down generate password then you type in your new password that you want to create all right so i'll create one so i have changed it and i have medium which is the orange but it's okay if you can't manage to get strong which is the green as long as you can remember and you know it's something that people cannot remember that's fine all right then you click on update profile so profile updated all right so now that the password is changed you can do all the necessary updates and changes that you want like your settings install plugins and themes but uh, like you know this is just to show you how to set up a subdomain and install wordpress on it so moving forward is how to you know set up all your basic stuff that you need to set up from here okay that's the settings and like i said your profile and all this appearance themes and all that but that's another tutorial and i don't want this video to be long but i believe you know how to do this because once you want to know how to set up your subdomain that means you know how to do that on your original domain already so with that being said thank you for your time please comment like and subscribe and subscribe to this channel all right take care and have a wonderful day bye bye